Welcome to Healthy Quick Account Setup Guide. Today, we'll be going over a few different steps to set up our account in order to get started. I do recommend logging in into your Healthy Web application and not the mobile app in order to better set up your account. Today, we'll go over setting up your intake forms, setting up your appointment types, calendar availability, how to set up your packages to sell to your clients, adding a test client into the platform, and also personalizing your account brand. So let's get started. Right now, you should be seeing my page. When I first log in, it says, good morning, Talita. Here is going to say your provider name. And in order for us to get started, there are a few essential things in the platform that I do recommend before you even dive into some of your settings, some of your uh, personalization in here. I do like to remind providers that anyone coming into the healthy platform, they will be prompted to complete an intake flow. So it's absolutely up to you to tailor and make the unique flow according to what you want your clients to receive. So I am finding the intake flow right here on our navigation bar. You see home and then we see forms. In here, you can see every single forms that we have in the platform. You can see the, the one with the squiggly line is a charting template and the one with the little door, it's a form which you can be adding to your intake flow. In order for us to create the intake flow, we're going to click right here in the intake flows. I know that you see many different intake flows in here. Hopefully your account is not going to look as busy as mine, but this is just for training purpose. So you can kind of ignore, or you can even get ideas for intake flows as well. You can see that I have different type of paperwork according to different groups that I have. So keeping in mind that this is absolutely something you can do by taking advantage of our groups feature and linking different forms into different or multiple intake flows in the platform. So let's go ahead and start to create an intake flow. When you're first coming in into the healthy, you probably do have an intake flow there already that might only have the welcome message and that should say default right next to it. So that's the main intake flow that everyone coming in into the platform is currently going to receive it. If you like to just manage the one, we can go ahead and click the three little dots to the right, click manage, or you can start a new one, but just remember to make that new one your default intake flow, or you can then also delete it yours. So there's like a few different ways uh, to get started. Um, for this class purpose, I am going to go ahead and start a fresh new intake flow. So I'm clicking create an intake flow. And then right in here, I can give the name of the intake flow. So doing something that's going to be easy for you to remember, to go back to it, you know who is receiving this intake flow. It's normally helpful. So for you that you're just getting started, it will be a new client. And clearly I cannot type today. Oh my goodness. There we go, new clients. Uh, we can choose the group. So this is what you saw that the reason that I had different multiple like intake flows is because I can link to different groups as well. So like, let's say you are a dietitian that you work with pediatrics, but you also work with adult weight loss. So those are very two different like different clientele that you might want them to receive different paperwork, right? So that's definitely something that you can put it here in the system. But for this class purpose, it is a quick account setup. So um, we're trying to keep it basic here. But if you do want to learn a little bit more and get deeper into the platform with all the features that you are able to do, we definitely recommend some other our other live classes, the deep dive, they're really great for you to just really unlocking everything that the platform can do. Right in here, it's asking which group should be your intake flow. I'm going to leave it blank because this is going to be my default intake flow for everyone coming in. I'm going to just do 2024 because I am sure I have a lot of 2023 already. So I'm going to go ahead and create it. 
this one. This one is the uh, default. It has four different forms already in it. We haven't added anything to it. So the one that I just created is this one that has only the welcome message. So I'm going to go ahead and make this my default one and let's start working in it. So I'm looking for new clients 2024 default. I only has the welcome message. I'm clicking the three little dots to the right, manage. In this message, you are able to add it as well. All you have to do, if you view, you open right into the message that says, welcome client name. So in this space right here, you can put a more, um, your own unique message if you like, or you can just leave it as is, which is just pretty much letting your client know there'll be a few documents for them to complete it in the next page. So right in here is where you want to add all the important paperwork for your clients to complete when they're creating their client profile. So it might be things like billing information. I can choose it from the drop down and click add. It can also be uh, maybe some inf insurance form, collecting personal information, listing any um, waivers or consent, um, anything that it is important for your client to complete when they're first coming in, you definitely want to include to this intake flow. You can add as many things as you like. And you see this little button right in here that says require. It pretty much means that you are requiring the client to complete this first in order to move forward. So this one, you're not allowing your client to skip through them. Um, but if you do want to learn more, uh, we do have a, a deep dive class where we go a little bit more deeper into creating our intake flow. Perfect. So now let's pretend that this is the intake flow. Let's click preview. This is what I have, the welcome message, some billing information, and then I have a form in here to collect some client information. Of course, this is your intake flow. You can add as much and as little as you like. But after that, for this class purpose, now we're moving on to setting up your appointment types. We're clicking on the gear symbol in the top right corner, settings. We're looking over for calendar and appointment types. I am going to go to appointment types right now, but I really just want to touch base on this appointment settings. This is really important for you to review. We're not going to review um, in today's class just because it's very complex, but we do have many other classes that goes a little bit deeper into reviewing the settings. We have a whole calendar class, but I definitely recommend taking five minutes of your time and going over step by step in here, just because this settings, it's pretty much what it allows the client to cancel before an appointment or how far in advance can they book or even are they allowed to reschedule so there are many different settings in here that i do recommend you looking into it before you start bringing clients to the platform and like i said we do have a really deep dive calendar class for that right now we're going over to appointment types think of appointment types as a service that you're offering whatever you're offering in the platform, here's where you want to add it. So if you're adding initial consultations, follow-up, uh, discovery calls, um, maybe group webinars, whatever that may be, here's where you can add them. When you come into the platform, I think there are a few examples there already, like initial consultation, um, group appointment, just as like examples. So if you do want to work on those examples, you can click the three little dots here to the right. And anytime you see these three little dots in the platform, they mean actions. So pretty much you can do more within, right? Because if you just like look in here, it's like, oh, how do I even add it? Or where do I go from here? It's going to be on those three little dots. So I'm going to click add it. And here's where you can add it, the appointment type information. We do have a class that goes over this. So I'm not going to go over too much, but just uh, briefly, we are adding your appointment. So we want to add the name of the appointment. This next setting is group the client that is placed in after booking. So this is pretty much it 
when I mentioned in the beginning of the class, if you are seeing different types of clients, this is a great way to add your automations in the platform. So if client books appointment A, they will receive intake flow A. In that way, you can pretty much interlink things in the platform. Right in here for this one, I'm going to leave it blank, but you can also see they have like discovery call group. So let's say you're offering a discovery call and you don't want those discovery call clients to receive all the paperwork that your normal existing clients receive. So you can set it up in the platform for them to only receive a specific paperwork versus your other clients. The next one is group appointment. So you're only going to choose the group appointment if this is going to be an appointment with the provider, a client, and someone else. So anytime there's more than just the one-on-one -on -one interaction is going to be considered a group appointment. So if you are hosting family appointments, group webinars, then you definitely want to click this because then the system is going to pretty much allow you to create those group appointments, which is another way to um, communicate with clients other than the one-on-one -on -one sessions. For this one, we're just editing one-on-one um, -on -one session. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle the group appointment because it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. In here, give you a few settings. Can clients book this appointment? Is it only visible to specific groups? Uh, for this one, I'm going to leave as all clients can book. We can choose the length in here. Um, it goes anything from like five minutes to 720 minutes. So you have a big window of options in there. I'm choosing this one-on-one appointment to be 45 minutes and the contact type is going to be video call. But of course, if you host, if you have an in-person location, you can choose that as well, or you can choose phone call. Just keep in mind that Healthy does not have their own landline that you can call from the platform. So you do need to have your own number pretty much and call from your device to the client. Um, there's no way to do that through the healthy platform. However, you can host your one-on-one -on -one sessions either via the healthy video call or via Zoom call. For this one, I'm going to leave it video call. Uh, we do have a few other settings in here. I'm not going to go too much in detail into them. I'm just creating the appointment type. And then we have the one-on-one -on -one session with Talita for 45 minutes. I see right here that it is a video call. It's bookable. It's not a group appointment, doesn't have a group or a waiting list, anything associated to this appointment. So now, how do I set up your availability, right? You have your appointments out added in here. Let's pretend we do. And then how do you now add this into your calendar to show that you're available to accept appointments with your clients? After we left the uh, gear sim on the top right corner, right here, you saw that like I moved a little arrow to the right. I'm going to calendar. So this is the calendar. I can see that I have some appointments scheduled. This looks like it's a group appointment. This is a one-on-one -on -one session. This green block is my availability right here. Uh, however, how do I add more availability? Right here on the top, we can hover over from calendar to availability. You do have to click on it and it brings you to this window where you can add your availability. Right now, it looks like my only availability that I have is from eight to nine on Mondays and it repeats. That's how I can see available right now. So how do I, we add it more? Right here on the top, we have this add button. And just not to confuse, <laughs> to the calendar. On the calendar, sorry, I went back to the calendar view because we also have this add button right here. But this add button on the calendar view, it means for you to add actual appointments with clients, schedule group sessions, or even add like a block. Like let's say you are unavailable in a specific day or time, you can add a block. However, to add your availability, you do have to hover over to the availability window and then we're clicking add 
right here we are able to choose one time availability or weekly availability i am choosing weekly availability let's just go with thursday from 11 a.m to 3 p.m we are available perfect so i can just go ahead here and add my availability of course if you want to add a more you can just go back to it choosing the day of the week that you are available and adding here in the in your calendar so i am easily able to add um, different availability according to my schedule Perfect, so now let's say we do have our availability set up. I'm going back to the calendar window. And now what about if I wanted to share, right, with a client that I am ready and accepting 101 or discovery calls, whatever that may be the service that you are offering that you wanna share with your clients that you're accepting appointments. You are able to share directly from right here. You see calendar, quick share. Let's take a look of how this looks. So that quick link that I just used, it, it's bringing me to a window where I can see every single thing from my appointment types, which you can look a little bit busy if you do offer a lot of service. So let's say you only want to share a link with a client for your discovery call or maybe just your one-on-one -on -one session, and you don't want your clients to have to choose or scroll and have to decide which appointment to choose so let's go back to our calendar page right here under more we are going to go over to share and embed and right here is where we are able to untoggle where you see our appointment types we can untoggle right here and just choose what we want to share so maybe i just want to share one-on-one -on -one session with talita and then i can just share this right here again i wanted to highlight it that this first page is an iframe to add it to your website and the next one if you just go to the side and you click on it this one is the link that you can add it to like a button your social media channels maybe embed it into like an email whatever that may be this is what you wanted to add however if you do want to add the iframe to your website many websites nowadays they do have the quick iframe that you can copy and paste then you can copy and paste and create it in here you can create a link for all your appointments for just some service for one service so this does give you a lot of flexibility you do see here uh, our provider so this one is applicable if you're working with an organization that has more than one provider but if you are a solo practitioner um, this one is going to be just your name here on the top so it might look a little bit different than mine and then in here if i was going to see the live version of just that one appointment um Let's say I am choosing Talita. And so this would be the link, right? So it's just a quick link to book an appointment with me versus the quick link where it shows you everything. So you do have some options in here. And again, we have like a whole class that goes into a little bit deeper into those settings. Next one that I wanted to share would be under billing client packages. If you like to like streamline your payments and the option to enable upfront for your service. So maybe you don't wanna be sharing your client embedding the link directly because this is a pay consultation that you require your client to pay before they speak to you. So then the best way would be putting that consultation into a package. You might have some example packages that you can add it in the platform by clicking add it or you can create um, your own package so we do have a deep dive to learn more about packages so definitely recommend taking the class but i'm gonna go over this um, just quick for this account setup if you wanted to share a link for a client to pay for the service so right in here the package title maybe is going to be 101 with Talita. Here is a great place to put in the description. What is the client going to receive? How are they receiving? What are you offering? Uh, any disclaimers that you might want to add right here is the perfect place to do it. Right here, you are able to link any 
YouTube videos, Loom, Vimeo, maybe you want to do like a quick intro saying, hey, I am blah, 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 and I do ABC, whatever that may be. Uh, of course, maybe not that way, but you are able to put it right in here, the, the link directly so your clients can get that warm connection of like seeing you and seeing what they're getting by purchasing this service. You have the option to make the package visible. I'm going to say yes. Again, we have many automations. Um, definitely recommend you taking another one of our classes to learn more on that. But right here is where we can add the appointment session. So I'm going to go ahead and add one session with Talita. It does not renew. Uh, right here, I have this option to make it bookable. You might not see it unless you click this. Require appointment booking during purchase. And this is pretty much it mean it allows the client to purchase the package and book the service that they are purchasing at the same time. So it's a really nice smooth flow for the client to just go ahead and book um, the session that they're paying for. But of course, this is optional. If you forget uh, anything I just mentioned, we do have a lot of help articles. Um, and right in here, we have a little bit of like description of each one of these boxes uh, in case you do forget. For this one, I am going to choose bookable. I don't wanna add any other sessions, but here is pretty much where the package that you can add multiple sessions or multiple service. Like when you wanna sell like a bundle type of package, you can definitely add them in here. You are able to add a program. Um, so this could be like any educational material that you wanted to share with the client, you can definitely add it in here. For this one, since I am just selling a one-on-one -on -one session, I am going to leave it blank. But if I was selling a package with a program with like educational material plus one-on-one -on -one sessions, then this is where I would like, would, would want it to add it. Let's go ahead and click continue. Perfect, we have the, a few different options in here. Anything from like a one-time, quarterly, monthly, weekly. So here's where you can pretty much create those subscriptions. You are able to create any here. So if this is something that the client is paying monthly and then monthly they're going to receive a one-on-one -on -one session with you. And monthly they're going to receive a one-on-one -on -one session with you then of course you can choose the monthly period so let's say you want to offer a six months subscription you are able to do so or you want to do a one-year subscription or you want to do those evergreen packages where they are subscribed until they cancel that's definitely an option as well but for this one i'm just doing a one time i am going to do um $95. I am seeing here that after the Stripe processing fee, I'm going to receive $91.94 out of the $95. I am charging immediately. And I'm going to go ahead and create the package. Awesome. It probably went, yeah, all the way here uh, on the bottom. So now it says one on one with Talita, one appointment session. And this is what's included. Of course, you can edit the image. You can definitely make it more unique. So right here, I can click share. Again, we have the option for the iframe and then also the sharing link. So if you're adding this to your website, you can add it the iframe directly. But if you're adding as a CTA, a call to action button or a link on your social page, then you might want to just copy the link itself. So let's go ahead. And another thing that I do love it here, it, it does match your branding color. So if your branding colors is like purple, like mine right here, I can have those color reflect on my package. Um, and you're able to change it this as well. So right in here, I can see the live version.
Awesome. Right here, I see the package details, um, the description that we added, what's included. Oh, I have the one appointment session for $95. All I have to do is click continue. Now, because I clicked the page where it said bookable, it's bringing me here where I can confirm the appointment type and then choose my appointment session. So let's go ahead and book it for tomorrow, 11 a.m., confirm date. And now in order to move forward and confirm this service, if I was the client, I would just be entering my um, credit card information, my name, last name, uh, email, and then purchasing the package. Um, of course, I'm not going to go through that step right now, but this is pretty much what you would be sharing with your client and they can go ahead and purchase and go through that step on their own. Now that we just talked about uh, what the client see, I definitely recommend them taking like a step, a different step now in going over to our client tab. I always recommend you adding a test client to your account. Use a different email. I think we do have like an example client that comes in the page in there, but you do have to add your own email. So take it from the beginning, like add in a, cl a client here of course, do like a test name so you know. Um, here, add the phone number, add the email, making sure that you're adding maybe a different email that's not linked to your healthy platform. So you can also receive it and go through the process of being a client in your platform, right? So after you have already set up the intake flow, which was the first thing that we discussed. So maybe here after you add this information, you're going to receive an email saying, hey, provider ABC, it's inviting you to join their account. Uh, so you're going to accept it and then go through the process of completing the intake flow. Go through the process or perhaps booking an appointment, purchasing a package. So you can also see what the client see we definitely recommend you going through that step. Next one, you're able to do in the platform as well on the gear symbol in the top right corner, you are able to pretty much create and customize your page so it feels like it's uniquely yours. So right in here, you can add your brand name, you can add your logo. So when I click add it right here, I can just go ahead and upload it. I have the healthy logo as mine, but of course you can add your own logo if you have one. If you don't, that's completely fine. Maybe you can just add a different image in there or you can leave the healthy logo for now as well, but you do have the option to add your own unique brand in here. You do have the option to play around with the colors. So the navigation bar and the navigation font. So you see the mine are this little light color, like this white color kind of, and this deep blue is my font. So you can also match your branding logo and colors. And then last but not least, we do recommend you downloading the mobile app so you can access your account anytime. We do not recommend setting up your account on the mobile version, but we do recommend having it so you can easily access um, on the go as well. So hopefully this quick account setup was helpful. And if you do have any questions, please always feel free to reach out to hello at gethealthy.com and our support team will be more than happy to further assist you. And like I said, a few times today, we do have many, many other live classes and we welcome you to join any and all of them as many times as you need in order to get the help and the support. So hope you have an amazing day. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Take care.